Microsoft has just announced a whole slate of new Surface devices, and the most exciting one to me is the Surface Pro 8, which after like five years has finally gotten the redesign that we've been waiting for. The bezels are thinner, the keyboard is stiffer, the processor is faster, the screen is 120 hertz, the pen is harder to lose. I've gotten some hands-on time and a walkthrough at Microsoft's office here in San Francisco, and I gotta tell you, there's a lot to like. The Surface Pro 8 has a new 13-inch display. It's 2880 by 1920, and it has that 120 hertz refresh rate, although it does still default to 60 hertz. It keeps Microsoft's very good 3 by 2 aspect ratio, and it works with Surface pens. It also can adjust its color temperature to match the room that you're in. Now, because the screen is a bit bigger, that means that the bezels around it are finally smaller. It's the same basic design as the ARM processor-based Surface Pro X that we've been waiting for, and the differences between these two computers are fairly subtle. There are fan vents on the back of the Pro 8, and the corners have been rounded off a bit, so it's a little bit nicer to hold. That's not the only thing we've been waiting for Microsoft to do. It is now finally supporting Thunderbolt on Surface devices, with two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports in addition to the standard Surface connector. The Pro 8 also gets a new keyboard that has onboard storage for the pen. And actually, can I just geek out about the keyboard for just a second? I mean, I'm going to either way, but the keyboard deck is made out of carbon fiber, so it is a lot stiffer without getting thicker or heavier. There's just less bounce when you're typing really hard on it. By the way, that is why I'm typing gibberish so furiously in the B-roll. I wanted to see how loud it was and if it bounced, and it's great. And the little magnetic flip up that attaches it to the screen so it's more stable and it also hides the pen. That's better too, the fabric fold doesn't cover the taskbar like it did on the first version of the Pro X and even the second one. Honestly, the keyboard might be my favorite part of this whole thing. The trackpad on it is bigger than it was on the old Surface Pro models, but I still don't think it's quite big enough. That's really my only problem with it. Now the stylus is also all new. It's called the Surface Slim Pen 2. It's more tapered at the point, but it also has haptics built into it. There's a little vibration when you start to draw or write. It's really subtle though. We're gonna need to review it, but in my hands-on, it really didn't seem that elegant or impressive. Microsoft did demo a bunch of stuff with the stylus and a little bit with Windows 11. And of course, the model that I was looking at ran super well through Adobe Fresco and Microsoft Edge. It seemed fine. Now, these things have been upgraded to Intel's 11th gen processors. For consumers, you either get a Core i5 or a Core i7. On the enterprise size, you can get a cheaper Core i3 or you can get versions with LTE. RAM starts at eight gigs and goes all the way up to 32, and the SSD is user replaceable, and that starts at 128 and goes all the way up to one terabyte. Graphics, of course, are, you know, standard Intel XE stuff. Finally, to like round out the computer, the camera's been updated to do a better job of backlighting and video calls. Windows Hello is still here for logging in with your face. It has Microsoft Studio microphones. And of course, the hinge is still very good. It works at any angle. The Surface Pro 8 starts at 1099 for the base spec, but I really imagine people are gonna wanna upgrade the RAM and the storage, not to mention buy the keyboard or maybe a pen. So you should assume it's gonna cost more than that. Oh, by the way, Microsoft also made a small update for the tiny Surface Go computer. There are new processor options, and there's also a slightly cheaper way to get one of those things with LTE. I still love the tiny little Surface Go, but it's clearly designed for like enterprise field work, not to make tiny computers happen. As for the ARM processor-based Surface Pro X, the only update there is that there's a cheaper Wi-Fi only version that starts at 900 bucks. But again, the big news here and the thing I'm really excited about is the new Surface Pro 8 redesign. We have been waiting a long time for this redesign, and at least on a first look, I don't think Microsoft has screwed anything up here. Of course, we're only gonna know for sure after we've had a chance to do a full review. But for now, I'm just happy that the Surface Pro feels modern again. It's about time. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. We also have a first look at the Surface Laptop Studio, which is a deeply weird laptop from Microsoft. Check that out.